Willoughby is a cheeky, um, fun, loving, caring, typical eight-year-old little boy. So the 22nd of March 2018 was a normal, typical day. Um, Richard went, walked up to school to collect the boys um, and they were on their scooters coming down the pavement, um, which they did every single day. And it was completely normal. Um, and as they were coming down the hill, um, a car crossed the pavement and took Willoughby out. Um, Willoughby fell off his scooter, went underneath the car um, and came sort of up the other side and the car had no idea it hit Willoughby and actually thought he'd just gone over a speed bump. I thought the car wasn't stopping and carried on. So I ran down the hill screaming. Willoughby was quite quiet. As I got to him, he just said, sorry, Daddy, it wasn't my fault he didn't stop. So his ear was basically touching his shoulder by the looks of it and Anna, the off-duty nurse, she was having a coffee across the road. She came running over, looked at him and basically just grabbed hold of his ear and put it back to where it was, should be on his head, and just held tight. There was a lot of people, wasn't there, suddenly around, and they were comforting George at the time, who was, kept saying to you, Denise, is he going to die, Daddy, is he going to die? And you were like, oh, I, don't I don't know, I don't know if he's going to die. I got the phone call at work, um, and I immediately went to QA Hospital in Portsmouth where I thought that he was going to be taken um, and then I ran into A&E there and I, I said is Willoughby Copeland is he here and they said they still never heard of him and that was at the time then you phoned and said no his injuries are so serious that they've called the air ambulance and um, he isn't going to go to QA you need to come here to the scene. I arrived and then the critical care team doctor came in the ambulance with us and we losing twos to Southampton. All of the way to the hospital, the, the doctor was just amazing and really calm and was just talking to me the whole time about each of Willoughby's injuries and um, what to expect when we arrived at Southampton and what, you know, what it was going to be like in A&E and who was going to talk to him and what the, how big the team was going to be. And, um, and that, you know, everything that he kind of explained ended up happening. So that was really good for me, you know, when you're there with your son who's in and out of consciousness because he's so drugged up at that time, um, for someone just to be really calm and really clear about what was happening to Willoughby and what was going to happen next um, was, I think, really good for all of us on that. Yeah. Willoughby is doing really well now. He. Um, it was quite a long road to recovery. He couldn't eat properly for quite a few months and had to have a full operation in the summer. Um, but he is doing, he's doing really well. He's back playing rugby, um, which he loves doing. Um, so life has kind of gone a bit back to normal again, which is lovely. Thank you for saving my life.